Want to make a bow with any texture pack and a pullable bowstring? Stay tuned. This video was sponsored by my kind supporters on Patreon. If you'd like to become a patron yourself, you can find my Patreon page on patreon.com slash teamwnj or a link in the description down below. What's up survivalists, it's Shane from teamwnj here. Continuing on my previous tutorial with the bow, let's go over how to make the string. This can be used for any bow, including custom bows from custom texture packs. If you haven't already seen, I made a tutorial on how to make this model last week. You can find a link to it right here or in the description down below. Make sure you stick through the whole video if you want to know how to download the bow from this tutorial. Just one last thing before we start. This is an advanced tutorial and I expect you to know a little bit about Cinema 4D already. I'll be moving very quickly throughout this entire video so make sure you pause the video if you need to catch up. Okay, let's start. Load up your bow and create a cube by clicking on this blue cube up here. Resize the bow to fit as your string. I'm using a thickness of 1cm and a length of 100cm. My Y segments are also set to 2. Click on this orange pen up here and select the pen tool. Enable snapping to midpoint by clicking and holding on this magnet over here to the left. Click the top, middle and bottom to draw a spline through the middle of the string. Now go into the character tab and select joints tool. Hold control and click the top, middle and bottom once again to create a chain of joints. Select all the joints in the object manager and change the display to line. It's really up to personal preference but I prefer it to look like this. I've also renamed my joints the top, middle, and bottom respectively. Cool, we've just finished our first few steps, but I'd like to take a second to remind y'all to subscribe and hit that bell icon to make sure you stay notified when I upload a new video to help you improve your Minecraft animations every Monday. Select the top joint, right click, go under character tags, and select the IK spline. Click on the tag and change the following. Type to equal, align to Y, drag your spline object into the spline field, and drag the end joint into the end field, and set twist to world. Go into the Handles tab, click Add 3 times and then Create 3 times. This should create 3 null objects. Rename them to their respective positions. Now click your string object and hit C to make it editable. Select all 3 joints and the string object. Go up to the Character tab and hit Bind. Once you're done, shift click this Weight tag here to open up the Weight options. Go up to the Character tab and select the Weight tool. Change Mode to Add and select the bottom joint. You should be able to paint in the bottom area now. Go through all the other joints and make sure they're only affecting their respective areas. You can tell by looking at which areas are painted in their respective colors. Let's do some organization real quick. Drag everything except the middle null as a child of the bow object. Then select all the children, hit Alt G to group them together and name the new null string. Now create a new cube and resize the fit as the control for the bow string. This is what you're gonna use to pull the string back. I'm gonna fast forward this because you can really put anything there. I'm gonna put like a little green arrow. Please know what you're seeing on screen right now is a mistake. Do not group these two together and you'll see why later. Instead, drag the middle null under the control object as a child. Now if you drag the control, it should move the string like so. Great, now it's time to give the bow some bends. Click on this purple bend up here to create a bend effector. Resizes the fit over the top of your bow. My numbers are 10, 63.125, and 50. Drag the effector as a child of the bow object and set the mode to unlimited with an angle of negative 90. Right click on your control object and under the Cinema 4D tag, select Expresso. If you've never used this before, it may look a little bit complicated, but stick to it and I'm sure you'll understand. Drag the control object from the object manager into the Expresso window. Yes, I am aware I dragged the wrong one. You should only have one control object and drag that one in. You should get the control node on your Expresso window. Click on the red output corner and go under coordinates, position Z. Drag the bend object into the Expresso window as well and click the blue input corner and go under objects, properties and select strength. Right click in the middle and create a new node. Go under New Node, Calculate, Range Mapper. Optionally, you can also create a Result Node, which is also under Calculate. Link the Control Output into the Range Mapper Input. Take the Range Mapper Output into the Results and Bend Input. Click on the Range Mapper and change the Input Lower to 10 and the Output Lower to negative 0.1. Now if you move the Control Object back, it should bend the bow and the string as well. Congratulations, now we just have to finish it up. Select the Control and Bow Object, hit Alt and G and rename the new group to Bow. Open the group and select the Control object, go under the Coord tab, open Freeze Transformation, and hit the Freeze All button. Finally, select everything except the bow and the controller, right click and hit Select Children. Right click again and add to new layer. Go into your Layers tab and rename the layer into Bow underscore Hidden. Lock and hide the layer because you'll never need to see these again. And don't forget to move your materials in there as well. If you'd like to download the bow I made in this video, all you have to do is visit patreon.com slash teamwnj and pledge at least $1 a month to unlock the download link to this bow as well as a whole ton of other cool rewards. If you have any other suggestions of things you want to see in the future, let me know in the comments below and I'll get to it. Cheers!